Okay, hello everyone. See you again. Now, let's open file five. Flow along surface, the architecture skin. I will show you another way to do the architecture skin. Okay. First, we click flow along surface, and you will see the command is flow along surface, and then se select the object. Right click when done and select near a corner. I will select this corner and target surface. I will select this side, the left side of this thing. See what will happen, okay? Okay, see? The skin is inside. Why is wrapped inside? I will show you later. And now let's do it again. Select object and base surface. Select near corner. This time I will choose this corner. And target the surface. Still the same side of the same. As you can see, this time the skin is outside. Why is it like that? Think about it, and I can explain right now. So I will draw this curve. You can see the arrow is from here to there, and the inside skin is because it starts from here and wrap to there, right? It's all like this, so it's inside. And if I draw a curve from here to there, that's the way how the outside skin wrapped because it's rolled from here to there. And I can also explain it in another way, okay? I will unroll this one. Unroll developable surface. This is the curve to unroll. See? I unrope this one. And let's do a test here. What's this length? If this length is matching this length, okay? So you can say it's 48.51. And how about this one? It's 48.51. The same thing here. Let's do a test. Right click. It's 28. How about this one? Right click. Still the 28, right? So that's why this line is matching this circle and this line is matching this line. Okay. Okay, now I will show you UV lines. Maximize it. And find uh, analyze direction. Click it. And select objects for direction display. This one. And right click. As you can see, the red arrow and the green red arrow. The red arrow is U line and the green arrow is V line. If I swap U V lines here, you can see the green line is 
U line and the red line is V line right now, right? And press enter when done. And I will do the flow along surface again. See what will happen. Select this object. Right click and base surface. And target surface here. See? The line of horizontal is not vertical anymore, right? That's how UV lines work. And do you still remember the parameter stretch? Is that work here as well? Because you can say this shape doesn't have the same size of circle, right? And this shape has the same size of the circle. So we will have a try. Right click, select object, right click the base curve, and we can select the target surface. As we can see, it works. It works, right? And we don't need to select yes or no for stretch anymore. It's stretched automatically. So, yeah, you can have a try right now. And you can do it. Thank you.